Hi again, I'm Pierre. Welcome to the garage. Uh, this short episode will be about uh, answering Harold's question. Harold is from Cerberus. He's got a YouTube channel. He's called, uh, you know, he's mainly doing some, let's say, call, calling himself a redneck and doing uh, redneck stuff. But he's got a few, uh, few interesting points in there and uh, a few cute stories. You, uh, well, let's say, go there and pretend to laugh to his stories. He's going to be more than happy. Hi, Harold. <laughs> okay, um, let's go closer to the uh, setup there, which I'm going to demonstrate uh, how I'm using a PID and uh, K type probes to uh, measure inside a crucible. Okay, let's see what we need to uh, make a probe. Uh, that would measure temperature. It's basically the same as what I did with the uh, the kiln, but uh, just like uh, the same elements or the same uh, type of elements are needed, except you don't need the feedback to control the temperature somewhere. So uh, what I got for myself here is a probe that's uh, about 16 inches long, and uh, if you go for 40, uh, 40, 40 centimeters long. Uh, this probe is uh, able to go to, I think it's 1250 degrees Celsius, I mean 22, almost 2300 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, this is a probe that's well insulated. It's stainless steel probe, and this end there opens up to be able to connect the wires there. And uh, if you look good, I think we see that pretty nicely. You got a plus and a minus connector. You have to respect those uh, polarities to get a decent reading. Uh, besides this probe, there are other options. I've got this little one here, which is a uh, four inches long or 10, uh, 10 centimeters long. Uh, these ver these versions. Uh, you can get the um, <clears throat> 20 millimeter, uh, tw uh, 20 centimeters long, and you can also uh, get the 800 uh, degrees Celsius. The uh, problem with 800 degrees Celsius is you you will go above, uh, not much above 1500 uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, you got those like this one here is a 1200 degrees uh, or 1250 degrees. Uh, Celsius. So this one will go to uh, like say almost 2300 degrees in uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, this is nice uh, if you get the longer ones and you get the uh, not sure the length though but I think you got uh, 1100 degrees uh, Celsius which is 2000 degrees more than sufficient to make a temperature probe to uh, sense how much uh, you know for uh, aluminium so this is another option these are less expensive this is about I don't know between 20 and 35 bucks for one like this here okay and the uh, second thing we need a PID you get the um, this is a little bit more of an advanced version this can do more much more than just uh, read a probe you can have alarms you can have just about anything on this um, <clears throat> and you know many many uh, setup positions in there uh, I'm using this one because I order those for uh, my uh, my assemblies and things like that so uh, I mean I, I prefer I prefer those to uh, other other kinds you got the ones that you don't have to set you just read uh, to do the uh, temperature probe and uh, temperature meter you can use 110 volts for connecting your, uh, your line there this entry can go from 90 to 260 volts so you're, you got the, the just any country will uh, supply you the line voltage here you got the uh, probe plus and minus 
and also these uh, got provisions for uh, let's say you want to calibrate uh, you got those two um, connectors there with uh, the addition of a potentiometer and it's all written on the instructions you can do some calibration and just uh, adjustment if the probe is not exactly calibrated to uh, you know the, the exact temperature you can you know if you use a let's say a calibration device you could get pretty exact readings but I think with uh, what we're doing it's not exactly uh, you know, 100% needed. Like a 10 degree difference will uh, be, you know, like a, be having no effect on the results. And uh, since it's going to be close from uh, very heat heated, you know, areas like a crucible is a. Uh, I got this tube here. I just turned it a little bit uh, to diameter. I'll put it right there, and I'll tie up the screw. And when the wires come out there, I mean, just uh, get them connected. Okay, I just ran my wires to the uh, to the tube coming out of there. I made the uh, red positive, the black negative. I'm also connected onto the PID, positive, negative. Uh, we're ready to. Uh, Give it a try. This is a TESS 1213A thermometer. It uses a K type, um, just a, um, just it's a little wire that's twisted together, K type sensors. And this this one's got a second input, it's got a, it's a two input. I can have a Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. Uh, we make everything like with the stove, and everything will be like. Uh, Fahrenheit so we can compare a little closer and a little uh, easier. Uh, we see here that the difference between this one and the big probe here is about uh, 6 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. That that uh, that can be trimmed. There is a provision on the uh, on the controller to trim the um, the accuracy of the uh, and the reading from the um, the probe. Uh, for now we'll keep it like uh, with that difference and uh, we're not going to really worry about it so next thing we're going to do we know we got a six degrees difference and uh, we're going to um, send this probe here and uh, at this probe here into the uh, little oven the oven now is set at 500 degrees Fahrenheit again uh, it's been sitting there for a while so the, te the temperature inside is uh, very stable uh, we might read differences uh, because I'm planning to use this peak hole for the um, the probe and the uh, the, two, the both probes that uh, do the comparison and this one here is like it's not in its normal place it's just in the corner there might be a little difference because the placement of the probe in the uh, in the oven and we'll let that uh, stabilize because uh, the bigger probe, since it's got a bigger mass, will take longer to uh, equilibrate and uh, get even with the other one. Ah, I've been having all day this, uh, it's a gasoline beaver right in my, uh, my ears. It's getting to be a little bit of an annoying thing, but uh, anyway, the um, probes, probes had time to stabilize. Uh, they are staying with like uh, let's say this one is 561 the big one the other one is 555 they're staying within about uh, five six degrees of each other <clears throat> which is about the uh, starting difference when they uh, they got uh, they got on the first time uh, I would say it's pretty conclusive and it would make a good uh, a good probe to uh, you know stick into the um, the crucible and uh, make something like a decent reading. So, in conclusion, this will make a very decent setup and I uh, hope it gives someone's ideas and uh, anybody needing, uh, you know, information that I can uh, I can give or whatever. I mean, if it's in my uh, 
ability to respond or answer I'll do it gladly and if you enjoy this just don't forget the thumbs up if you want more subscribe and for any question or any comments hey just uh, use the lines down the just down the frame I'm there so thanks for listening and uh, see you next time <laughs>